How does that reflect on what we've seen so far from Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch? I'll tell you what. If I'm going to the scorecard, we're going boxing. I mean, it's not. It's a TKO. It's McVay, who's been to two Super Bowls and won one. Kyle almost had that under his belt, but let one get away and then couldn't get back. And now you remember they had a ten point lead in the fourth God, quarter. Yes, and, and they were. I just think they were playing better than the Rams. That's why it kind of hurts. But now he has that same job security, which he should have with this uh, new contract. And I'll tell you what, if you want to flush something down the toilet, it was the head-to-head matchup that Kyle had, the ownage he had on McVay, and then that one that he got was the one that punched a ticket to the mm-hmm. dance. Mm-hmm. And right now it's all McVay. And I'll tell you what, if you want to say, and, and I've given props to the boy genius, if we want to call him that, taking a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo to a Super Bowl, well, on line two, he did the same with Marin Catholic's Jared Goff. They didn't get it done, didn't even have points at halftime. But then to come back and get it done with Matt Stafford, who I think, and I mean this, Wadi, you didn't ask, is one of the most disrespected quarterbacks maybe yeah. of all time. Yeah. And that's why I was happy he got it done. But, damn, McVay's winning right now. And I got them in the Super Bowl again. They uh, they figured out the quarterback situation. And now, hopefully the 49ers yeah. have, but we'll see. But that's one thing McVay did. It's like, we ain't going to do it with golf. Get me this guy. Boom. They win a Super and Bowl. And they said, to hell with draft picks. We're throwing money at our problems. We're going to get proven commodities. Right. And that's, you know, if I were G, if I ruled the world, that's <laughs> what I would do. You know what I mean? But those teams are, they're not necessarily built to last. It don't matter. Tomorrow's not promised. They, nobody's taking that Super Bowl away from them that they won last year. Nobody. Well, we'll see how, how many they, does Kyle have? He, Kyle does. <laughs> he, well, his yeah. dad, maybe well, his dad. We got to stop that with the dad. <laughs> Remember Ruben Drones and all the Orlando's Gary, all those yeah. running backs, the yeah. zone scheme Bell. you talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to have backs. See, I remember a couple years ago. I know we talked about the offense that these guys run a little while ago, but whatever it was, four years ago, and anybody who'd ever gotten a text from, from Sean McVay was like, you want to be a head coach? And I remember I made fun of that, right? (laughs) Anybody, if you'd ever like had a cup of coffee with him, okay, do you want to be our head coach? But here we are a few years later, and McVay has won a Super Bowl. Last year, three of the last four teams run versions of that offense, man, right? And you got other teams, the Bears, the Bears are trying it now. So it works, but, uh, and and Kyle, one of the things he does better than the other guys, you know, the pre-snap motion and everything. Yeah. But he needs that quarterback to open it up even further. And Sean McVay's off. I mean, that's the thing. like I laughed at it, but no, this offense right now, it works in the NFL. It works for a lot of teams. And I'll tell you this. I don't know what you think of Debo um, in his catch radius because I was telling J.D. the other day, I think Ayuk, who I'm a big fan of, and I hated he was in the doghouse. Um, I just think he has more of a natural catch radius than Debo. He's a better receiver, per se. But he's not as impactful as a football player. And, you know, we don't know if Debo was going to take all those hits and the impact over 17. Because you're right. You mentioned it earlier. They kind of didn't do that to where it was dire. Three and five. And the Colts came in here. Speaking of the outside run, we need somebody to stretch this. We don't have anybody. Well, it's Debo time. And And I think, yeah, I can go get it. And... You know, Trey Lance, what he represents to me is, okay, maybe I'm not 19 to 24 like Jimmy, but I'm 17 to a 30, but four of those 17s were big whops down the field, chunk plays that got us in the end zone. How many 18-play drives did we see from yeah. the night? And it ain't all Jimmy's fault, but a guy that can't throw outside the hashes. I, like, if I'm a defensive coordinator or player, I wanted to take on the Niners offense and Jimmy Garoppolo because I knew – I ain't got it. You ain't doing the thing they do in L.A. with uh, what's the young stud, um, the quarterback for the Chargers. He'll tell me. Oh, Herbert. yeah, Herbert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of my fantasy Justin football, Herbert. One of my five yeah. fantasy football players. By the way, you just mentioned, what you say, uh, theoretically about Trey, 17 yeah. for 30. I would bet that much more frequently he's going to throw fewer than 30 passes. Okay. You know, because that, that's I'm the thing. I'm not mad. Run, 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 and yeah. then the run sets up those shots. And we saw this with Aaron Rodgers when he was a rookie. They, they brought him along slowly. It's another team, Big by the ben. way, that runs that offense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They, yeah. Look at, they've had success. They just yes. couldn't get it done. Yes. And Russell Wilson. So I, I'm not saying there are concerns about Trey, but the known with Jimmy and what you know he couldn't do was there was confidence in that. 
like you knew what you were facing. Mm-hmm. And Kyle would come up with a game plan schemed around the the can the do's and don'ts. With Trey, I'm like, again, I tell Stein, can he even be Jimmy? And by that I mean when he makes his worst mistake, can he and Jimmy, I can't tell and I was late to the party appreciating this, Whitey. I said it. He would have the uncanny ability to come back after, oh, yep. he's done. He's finished. They get the ball again. Yeah. And Jimmy gets a, like, dude. I was that's in a for steal. Damon uh, a few weeks ago, and we had Kurt Warner on. I was on with Ray, of course, I love Kurt. And I asked Kurt Warner that. What do you think is the one thing about Jimmy? This is when we thought Jimmy was gone. The one thing about Jimmy that the 49ers would like to see in Trey, and that's what he mentioned. You know, this is great, one of the great quarterbacks of all time. And he mentioned that. He said the way Jimmy could make a bad play and then that's got just forget about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, in a perfect world, you don't make the bad yeah, play we in go. the first yeah, place, yeah. but still, it's going to happen to Trey. At least you know this year there's going to be those bumps. As much as I love, uh, dude, I love everybody. Uh, eyes in on NFL Network. Kurt Warner, when he sold me on Mullins, when he said he could actually do run the Niners offense when he was starting. You like notice it Jimmy, was right that after was that, off. Right after he said that about how Mullins is going to make all that money, right after that, he had the worst game anyone's ever seen against the Eagles <laughs> and his whole career. Just, that was the Sunday night game. Yeah. yeah. He had at a home. terrible game. And you know what? I'm a lump. Don't feel bad, Kurt, if you're listening. Jaworski said cap could be the best quarterback he's ever played the game. Yeah. And after that, it, it kind of went the other way. Yeah. That yeah. was interesting. As I remember, Jaworski had something else going on. Jaws. <laughs> Maybe it was like he had been replaced in the booth, and it was almost like he said that to get people oh, okay. Don't to forget stop about paying me. attention to okay. something else. It was like a distraction. <laughs> but anyway, 888-957-9570. Carlito joins us from Alameda. Carlito. 95.7 The Game. What's up, Carlito? Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, number one, I, I couldn't name two Fleetwood Mac tracks. So I, <laughs> that one I feel too. better. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get into this Trey Lance thing. Um, you know what? The circus is in town because the media is pouncing on him. All the questions are very tough, and it, it's just going to be more difficult for him. And, Whitey, I'm going to put you on the spot here. I asked uh, before Signy and Guru what's the over-under on Jimmy Garoppolo starting. I set the bar at three. Guru said five. Uh, Steiny took the over. Um, Whitey, how many games do you think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to start? Thank you, guys. Jimmy is not going to start it all this year, so I'm going, mm, ain't happening. Uh, maybe That hurts me, the, the answer, the Allen Iverson from you, because you're not even, are you just saying he's not going to get hurt? Yeah, I'm saying he's not going to get hurt, and he's going to play well enough to hold down the job. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going well, with Damn, that. you went goose egg. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy not yeah. going to see the field. Jimmy's not. Well, you know, he might play here or there. And, and blowouts. And blowouts. Maybe you would they him out start there. him if, you know, late in the year you want to rest trade? Maybe, I would go under three, definitely, to a- answer your question, Carlito. Definitely under three. Because, yeah, you got, yeah. you know, sometimes some situations late in the year where we don't need this game. So I'd definitely go under three. And some of that is just, you know, hoping against hope that it works out. Because I want to see it work out. And I want to see what he can do. Because if he does get comfortable in the offense and he's able to um, pass with a little more accuracy on the short stuff, then I just can't wait to see what he can do. He could be a, a – I was going to say he could be a dominant force, but, yeah, he could be. And I'd love to see that and with this offense. I'll tell you what. A lot of us have egos and arrogance to us, and we do certain things to kind of prove, you know, I have people in my life. They're like, look you at don't me. have an ego or arrogance, though, do uh, you? No, how can I? No, of course yeah, not. Yeah, I used to drive a 92 Cadillac. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I just think Kyle's showing the world, like, this is my baby. This is my puppy. I'm going to take an unknown commodity that was at North Dakota State. I'm going to put him on a team that's window is now, and I can be Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he can be my Luke Skywalker. 